Hi, welcome to School Belt Beauty. Today I am going to do my Winter Wonderland look. And let me bring you in. You can see it. What I've done is mostly a frosty white lid and I've got just a touch of green that I've added for depth. And then, as you can see, I've got a shimmery green liner that I added and at first I did a silver liner on my waterline but because my eyes are so light and this look is so light it completely washed out the color of my eye and just didn't look good at all so let's just go ahead and get right on this so that I don't take up much time I started out using the Maybelline color tattoo and the color barely branded which is a very pearlescent beigey white and I applied it with my finger because it goes on really well with your finger because of the warmth but then I'm gonna spread it a little bit better make sure that it's exactly where I want it with a synthetic fiber brush And I'm just going up to the crease and stopping. I don't want to go any further up than that. And this is actually just an artist brush that I have a whole collection of these. And I'm not really sure why I haven't been using them. I haven't because these things are fantastic at applying makeup. All of the brush fibers are green. I don't know why, but they are. So there's that and then next I'm gonna go in with a very soft color and this is from NYX and it's called Spring Leaf and it's just a very light green and I'm going to take a blending brush because I'm gonna be very gentle about this color knock it off because as with most shadows you will get some fallout and what I'm doing is just kind of taking this around the white just a little bit to keep the white from completely washing me out. Now once I've done that, I'm going to take my MAC 239 and I'm going to use NYX just white and this is actually a exact dupe for Max Gesso. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to pack this over the color tattoo and you might be thinking why you're going for a shimmery look. Well, it's because I am going to be adding glitter. So I'm going to put that there and it's also going to be my highlight color. Now I'm going to pick up my MAC 219 brush, it's a pencil brush, and I'm going to go in with a darker green called Mermaid Green from NYX, and I'm going to go more into my crease with this. And I'm not, I'm not going to take much color, I'm trying to stay as light on the eyes as I can. And when I think of winter or holiday parties I think of shimmer and reds and greens and golds and silvers and all those fabulous things okay now I am going to take another synthetic brush now if you're going to be wearing this to a party you know you really might be too close I want you to be able to see if you're going to be wearing it to a party, you need to go ahead and get glitter glue that is cosmetic grade. I am using cosmetic grade glitters and they, it's, this one's a shaker top. So what I've done is I just shook it onto the lid of this green one so that I just tap some out so that I can have some access to it. And then I'm just going to wet my brush with my MAC Fix Plus and this will not hold the glitter 
throughout an entire party. So definitely go for the glitter glue. But I'm not going to do that because I'm only doing this to show you the look. Okay, now I'm going to pick up just a little bit more of that mermaid green on my pencil brush. Well, my matte brush seems to have disappeared, so I'm going to use my Sigma E30. I don't know if that's still the same number because I know they changed their numbering. I haven't bought brushes from Sigma in a while. But I'm going to go ahead and try to connect this down a little bit, and I'm going to do it with just a little bit of blending. It adds color just a little different than the 219, so I need to add a little more back. Alright, now I'm going to grab NYX liner, and this is their Aqualux colors that are fantastic. I wish they'd make more colors. This one is the color Lagoon. I'm going to bring you in and let you see this. Because this color is so, so pretty. Okay, now I'm going to tight line with Stila Lionfish, and that's that pretty dark brown color. The reason that I don't want to go with a black, wow, that liner went right down in my tear, tear duct. I don't want to go with a black because I don't want to make this eye look too stark. Now I'm going to take Jordana liner in sea green and run that along my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my liner brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to put the colors that I have up here down on top of that Jordana liner to set it. I'm starting out with the mermaid green on the outside. Then I'm going to pick up the spring leaf color. And I'm going to go most of the rest of the way in with this. All the way. Then I'm going to go right back to that matte white. And this is what I'm going to go around my tear duct with. And then I'm going to put some lashes on and some mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, and that is the finished look. Let me bring you in so that you can see. Now, hopefully, that glitter is showing up. It's very, very finely milled glitter. So, it might not be showing up in my, actual, my studio lighting. But I can assure you that in person, it does stand out. You can see it. And it falls out on your face, too, if you don't have the glue to stick it down. So, what I have on my face is I used my Estee Lauder Futurist Foundation. And this time I used it with the Beauty Blender. And i got to say, I 
loved it a hundred times more than the way that I had tried before. I did my normal correcting with my Benefit Erase Paste and then I used my Estee Lauder Ideal Light brush for my highlighting and then I topped that with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless powder. I set the rest of my face with my Lorac Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder. I contoured this time with NARS Laguna and really I like my NYX. I just like my NYX bronzer for contouring so much. I did the rest of the all over warm up just like I normally do with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. On my lips, I have to tell you, I went through a process trying to find the perfect shade of red. I first was, my idea was first I was going to try to use the Viva Glam 1 and I've got the Viva Glam 1 lip glass also so I thought that would look really cool. And I just didn't like this one for this look. It's just too dark for what I was going for. And then I went to my Russian Red and again we were getting a little bit closer but still just a little bit too dark for what I was going for. So what I finally ended up doing is I found my Ruby Woo and that's what I ended up using and I used my NYX Deep Red lip liner and this is almost a perfect match for Ruby Woo. It's almost exactly the same color. On my cheeks I used, it was a combination again, I used the pink swoon and then it just, I wanted it to look kind of a little bit like rosy in here since I had like a red, red and green thing going on and so I put a, just a tiny bit of salsa rose on my, on my cheeks and on my nails, I don't know if you guys, if it's showing up in this video very well, so I did this, I did a tutorial on this on my blog and yes I started a blog two days ago so that is going to be down in the description bar. I'll leave a link to my my new blog so you guys can follow me there if you want to. My eyebrows were done the same way with my Tarte Amazonian Waterproof Brow Mousse and oh my highlighter I used MAC Soft and General Mineralized Skin Finish. So thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to me, I would really truly appreciate it if you if you did subscribe to me. And leave me a comment and I will go I, I try to get back to everybody. In fact, I don't think I've missed anybody. If I have, if I've missed anybody, let me know. So anyway, this is my Winter Wonderland look. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And the shirt that I'm wearing, it's a sweater and it's actually tunic length. And I have to tell you this, I wear it with either black leggings or black skinny jeans and then these boots. These white boots and I don't know if you can see, but they've got sequins on the bottom that match the little sequins that are in between these beads or the pearlescent beads. So that's my outfit. The outfit that you wear obviously is going to be determined on what event it is that you're that you're going to. If it's more casual then the outfit that I have on is definitely something that I would wear and do wear actually together. So anyway Enjoy your holidays. I hope that this look is something that you'll try and if you do, please send me pictures. I love that when when people do my looks, try to recreate my looks and send me pictures of it. I love that. So have a really great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.